Danny is a game dev YouTuber, at least he was, until he suddenly stopped uploading videos for almost the last two years. Now, in case he doesn't come back to YouTube, I have had a genius idea to make him a funeral song. To at least send him off properly and definitely not just because I need content. Now, before I started this very important project, I had to come up with a few ideas to what I wanted the song to feel like and what emotions the song had to divulge into your soul. And after a bit of brainstorming, I had the idea planned out. The song was to start with a very sad yet beautiful string opening, reminding the listeners of how sad they are that Danny has stopped making content for us to watch and a beautiful melody representing all of the beautiful memories that we have had watching Danny's content. Then after that I want a retro game sound to contrast with the string and end after the end because why only have one ending when you can have two? And after my intense and very productive brain Are you sure about that? I go straight to work. After some, and by that I mean a lot of work, I finally had the string melody done. And for me, that's a massive thing. Started on the retro part and the piano. I also found a cool retro thing online. And after some cool effects and stuff, it sounds pretty cool actually. The piano is just for some more bass and density. The FL Studio piano also never lets me down. I absolutely love that thing. Then I proceeded by adding some cool beats, as usual. I only used 808 beats, nothing too fancy, but regardless it still sounds pretty cool. Oh and I also added these two risers things, that sound pretty cool. It's just, I still have to figure out how to make custom risers, because at the moment I'm just using FL Studio's built in ones, but that's a problem for not now. I actually found these sparkly sounding pads that sounded sparkly like what else. I added them with the strings and now they sound pretty cool together. You know what's missing now? No, of course you don't. But what's missing is some bass. No, this isn't like a normal bass, but I think it works pretty well. And finally, I added all of these automation clips. I mean, look at how much more advanced it makes my song look, even though it isn't. And it's still pretty bad. Like, I kind of suck at making songs. Like, look at this purple one. It makes this retro sound gradually from being quite dull to being sharp and spiky, I guess. There are also a few volume ones, so that some parts don't break your ears. Yeah, that's, that's not very nice, trust me. And there, I have successfully made Danny a funeral song. If you want to listen to the full thing, the link will be in the description, or just go look at my videos. It's, it's, it's right there. I mean, you literally can't miss it. Just open your eyes. Anyways, cheers, and remember to do your 40 push-ups now.